Alrighty, thank you so much. I'm so honored to be sharing with you today. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at um, how to make peeling oil. And peeling oil has gained so much popularity over the past five years or so um, because of its ability to effectively exfoliate and peel the skin uh, and reveal new radiant, brilliant looking skin. Uh, so peeling oil does this by combining a mixture of AHA and BHA acids and you might be asking what are AHA acids and AHA acids um, are key acids in exfoliating or peeling the skin and it stands for alpha hydroxy acids on the other hand BHA acids are while they're also good for peeling the skin their penetration are different uh, BHA stands for beta hydroxy acid and BHA acids such as what I have here, salicylic acid, salicylic acid. So BHA acids are used uh, to penetrate the dermal layer. Okay, it penetrates the dermal layer of the skin, while the AHA acids actually penetrate the epidermal layer or the top layer of the skin. So the skin is in different layers. So for example, you have the top layer and then you have the middle layer and then you have the deeper layer. So what the AHA acid does, it works on the top layer, removes it, while the BHA acid goes deeper and works on the middle layer or the dermal layer. In the dermal layer, however, you have your sebaceous gland where the oil for the skin is made. So in the sebaceous gland, the oils are made. So some people tend to have more sebaceous or more active sebaceous gland than gland than others and this results in oily skin okay so your AHA acids again will peel the top layer of your skin or the epidermis while the BHA acids will go deeper and penetrate the deeper levels of the skin called the dermal layer however there are deeper levels of the skin um, that is just not it's just not safe to penetrate all right so what a peel does it actually wounds the skin and in wounding the skin, the skin responds by producing new skin, new collagen, okay, because it's trying to heal. So it produces new skin, produces new collagen, and new. after the skin is peeled, then you will see new radiant skin forming. However, because the skin also tends to produce more pigment in its healing process, you might have a little darkening after a skin peel. It's always wise to use a fade cream to follow up with a fade cream after your skin peel. Not immediately after, but once your skin has finished completely pe complete its peeling, it's safe for you to use a fade cream so that the skin doesn't uh, hyperpigment and get dark. All right. So here are the acids we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using glycolic acid. Okay, and this is my base, my AHA acid. We're going to be using lactic acid as well, okay, and we're going to be using malic acid and salicylic acid, okay. I'm going to also be using uh, lemon oil, well this is actually lemon essential oil, okay, lemon essential oil. I'm going to also be using some witch hazel, witch hazel is very good for soothing the skin, uh, just to protect the skin so that it doesn't over irritate or it doesn't burn during the peeling process. I'm also going to be using glycerine and this is going to be used as a humectant or um, I use it to dissolve my salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is very difficult to dissolve. It's very hard to work with. Um, there are very few solvents out there that will give you a hundred percent disassociation or dissolving. So I use glycerine to dissolve it. Um, it's it's going um, not what I expect, not what I had hoped it to be, but it's dissolving somewhat. So I've already weighed that out. So all of my all my acids are already weighed. However, I did leave the malic acid unweighed just to show you how to weigh. For those of us who are not familiar with weighing uh, powders, I just left that so that I could give you guys an example. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh my malic acid. So before I do that, let me tell you how much I use. So I use 50% glycolic acid. I used 20% lactic acid. 
I use the 10% salicylic acid and I'm also going to be using 10% malic acid. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and weigh my malic acid and I'm trying to make a uh, 6 ounce solution. So I only I calculated the percentage based on a 6 ounce solution. No, I did not do it in grams. I rather work in ounce for this. Uh, for what I'm doing today. So I'm using 10% malic acid. Everything else has been weighed out already, but I'm going to weigh the malic acid for those of you who don't know how to use a scale. So first you have to zero the scale or tear it. It's called tear, T-A-R-E. Uh, what that means, once you put the container on, you're going to press tear. It's going to put it, restart and reset the scale to zero. Okay, so now we're at zero. Even though there's an object on the scale, it should be reading zero at this time. So once you add your malic acid, because it's 10% of my, my final amount, which is 6 ounces, it's supposed to be 0.6 ounces. Alright, and this is going to be in solid ounce because it's a solid. Okay, again, I'm trying to get 0.6 ounces, which would reflect 10% of my final So I need about 0.06 ounces. Oh. I'm going to be dissolving the malic acid because it cannot be used in the peeling oil as it is. It has to be dissolved. So to do that, I'm going to add some distilled water that I already poured out here. So I'm going to be dissolving my malic acid. Okay, so the final solution is going to be more than the 6 ounces only because I used uh, solvents to dissolve some of the powders. Okay, so the lactic acid was already dissolved, so the glycolic acid was already dissolved as well. So I'm dissolving my malic acid now. So you could use equal amounts of water to malic acid. So for example, if you use 0.6 ounces of malic acid, you could use 0.6 ounces of water to dissolve it as well. Just to keep your ratios in check all right so i'm dissolving it it's malic acid is very 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 easily it's easy to dissolve um it's not like salicylic acid which is a pain real, real pain to dissolve okay so i think we have our malic acid already dissolved perfect i'm gonna go ahead and stir that up some more i think i added a little too much water should be equal amounts of water to malic acid. Alright, so that's already dissolved. Perfect. Let me just stir it some more to make sure. Stir my malic acid. I feel I still I'm still feeling a little bit of crystal, so stir that some more sometimes it tends to saturate the solution so if you find that your solution is getting saturated and you still have malic acid crystals just not dissolving just go ahead and add a little more um, distilled water once we add water to our mixer we have to add a preservative all right I'm gonna be adding my preservative at the end and check on my salicylic acid to see what's happening it still looks milky so the glycerin is not going to be clear all right it's still it, it's, it's going to have a more more of an opaque look okay so it's never once you have the salicylic acid even when it has dissolved the glycerin is not going to look clear it's it's going to continue to remain opaque so i'm just going to mix everything together at this point in my beaker and then i'm going to add about one per about sorry point five percent of my witch hazel and I'm gonna add my le lemon essential oil which is gonna be about one percent or so and I use that mostly for um for scenting and for the vitamin C that is in it. 
okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add everything so this is my glycolic acid it's 50 percent i already pre-measured it okay and then i'm gonna add my malic acid right here add my lactic acid which was already weighed as well it was 20% lactic acid and finally I'm gonna add my pain in the butt here salicylic acid <laughs> I know a lot of scientists and cosmetic formulators and absolutely no one I know likes working with salicylic acid so salicylic acid is actually naturally derived it was naturally sourced first from the willow bark tree um, but now it's commercially synthesized um, by a reaction and that reaction is between carbon dioxide and the salt of a phenol so this is the commercial grade that I'm using I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together in my beaker so I'm mixing it now it's gonna be white or milky until I add my yellow color Okay, so there I have it right here okay so it's looking milky and rightly so it, it should look like that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add 1% of my witch hazel okay and since the final since the final concentration since the final volume is supposed to be uh, six one percent of that is going to be 0 0.06 ounces so i'm going to go ahead and tear my scale and i'm trying to add 0 0.0 percent i want that in liquid ounces and it's going to be 0 0.06 ounces and why don't i just use a dropper to add that since it's such a small amount i just use a dropper almost there it's at 0 0.05 now and I have 0 0.06 ounces of my witch hazel that is just gonna give my client some extra protection on their skin to protect it from the burn all right and I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon essential oil and that is pretty much based on your own content so I wanted to have a nice lemon smell my clients love that and i also wanted to have some vitamin c from the lemon oil so i go ahead and added my lemon oil and i'm gonna go ahead and mix it and that is just smelling great all right so there i have it my yellow peeling oil it's a little bit viscous because i added the glycerin to dissolve my uh my salicylic acid and the last thing you should have is your I need to add my right now where is my oh there it is so I'm gonna add my germicide now okay or my preservatives just so there is no fungal growth in it so I'm gonna be using propan dial for that it has a wide spectrum of uh, protection it protects against fungus and bacteria add me some I've, I do this a lot so I know how many drops to put in it um, but you could use 0.5% for your antibacterial you might be saying hey that's acidic there's no way bacteria can grow in acid but yes there are bacteria that flourish well in acidic solutions such as acidophiles or extremophiles or those are different bacteria that thrives on you know otherwise harsh conditions so there you have it that's all for today uh, please like subscribe post your comments i'd love to hear from you guys and i will see you soon